With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the problem states that a massless spring of a spring constant 800 newton per meter is a test with a mass of 500 gram is completely immersed in 1 kg of water. The springs is stretched by 2 cm and released so that it starts vibrating. What would be the order of the magnitude of change in temperature of the water when the vibrations stop completely? Assume that the water container and the spring receives negligible heat and specific capacity of the mass is 400 joule per kg Kelvin and specific heat capacity of the water is 4184 joule per kg Kelvin. So let's understand the situation. So we have a massless spring attached with a block of mass 0.5 kg and it is submerged into the water which has mass of 1 kg. Okay. Now what is happening? This spring is stressed by 2 cm. So what will happen? Whatever uh, We are going to use here the energy conservation principle. So whatever the energy stored in the spring Okay, so once uh, the spring gets detached from the block, so whatever is the energy stored in the spring will be used for heating up the block and the water. So that would be converted into the heat. Right. Now let's first find out what uh, what is the total energy stored in the spring. So uh, energy in the spring is given by half kx square. So that is half into k into x square so k value is 800 and x it is given is 2 centimeter so which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter in uh, SI units so we will get it as 0.16 joules so basically we are having 0.16 joules of uh, heat which will be used for rising the temperature of the mass and the water so we know the relation delta Q is MS delta theta. So this heat will be mass of the block into specific capacity of the block into delta theta. Delta theta is a change in temperature plus mass of the water into specific capacity of the water into change in temperature of the water. Right. So let's put the values. So mass of the block is given to us as 0.5 kg and specific heat is 400 joule per kg per Kelvin. So 0.5 into 400 into delta theta plus mass of the water is 1 kg and specific heat of the water is given to us as 4184 joule per kg per Kelvin into delta theta and this is equals to 0.16. So from here we can solve for delta theta. So it comes nearly 3.7 into 10 to the power minus 5. Right. So this is the change in temperature. Right. So uh, in the problem we had to find the order of the change in temperature. So order would be 10 to the power minus 5 Kelvin which is given to us in the option B. Right. I hope this helps you with the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.